Okay, so uh, here we go. I think I'm finished other than a few more bolts to hold it together. Here's the big motor wire. This is the motor controller. Just forward and reverse, really. There's a switch, I showed it to you already. Up and down controller, that goes at the helm. That goes in the dash, that'll go back uh, near the rear battery. Um, green light's on, just telling us that it's actually in the up position, it's locked. So I'm gonna go down. This red light here, on here, this switch is just simply turns power on to the whole system. So, next we're gonna go back up. Okay, going down, I'm going to shoot the big camera in there, so hopefully you can see that I got that loft mechanism working, so I'm going to go down, you should see it move. Okay, and then the whole thing deploys. In one motion. No lights on the switch goes for me. As I said, those lights are simply to say that it's all the way up or all the way down. It does actually go a little bit faster than this. Um, batteries are just low here. to use them so much. And as it comes down, it hits this limit switch. And in the down position, all this limit switch does is turn on the down LED that says it's all the way down. So then I go back up. No lights are all running. I'm not sure if I mentioned, I did cut that little groove out of there and it's actually three and a half inches shorter than it was. Once it was complete, I knew what I could cut off. And as it comes up, it hits that limit switch there. And in the up position, all that does is Turn on that light and turn the lock. Point. Shut. Turns off. Green light's on. Everything's cool. So that's that. I believe it's fully functional. I'm going to put a few more bolts along here. Uh, just for support. Never really did finish it. Because those are the two mounting plates that will be bolted to the, uh, to the beams underneath the boat. Thanks for watching.